So let's talk everything NPC command related. So I've got my survivor, got a bunch of traders. Traders are pretty simple. So once you've placed them down, you have a few options to see their inventory, what they sell, pretty obvious. You can pause their attacks. So this is useful if you set them up, let's say on the roof and you have them aiming down at the streets and instead of you getting all the kills and getting all the XP, these guys are starting to kill everything. So you'll, you'll get some XP in terms of player experience because you get attributed those kills, but your class won't level because you're constantly having these guys do all the work. So you can pause their attacks. It's also good during Horde Night when you're doing a multiplayer playthrough, whether it's on servers or peer-to-peer, -peer, because the AI for these guys is quite intensive. So Pausing that means that your frame rate is going to go up and there's going to be less lag. Come with me is essentially you being able to pick them up, carry them with you and place them somewhere else. But this will cost you about 250 bucks. So that's pretty much it when it comes to these guys. Unless you talk to Briston, he's going to have some useful information, uh, which you may want to browse. Or you can have some special missions whenever you reach a certain player level. Same thing for um, this guy. I think I've done, yeah, I've done the chicken coop thing already, so it won't show up. Now, once you've hired your survivor, I think you're familiar with some of these commands. Follow me. So uh, let's have this guy actually come with us. And let's say you've closed this. He will typically open up the door and close it behind him. Um, and another thing that could happen is at some point in the POI, he could get stuck, even though he's following you. So let's assume that, uh, let's go up here. Let's activate God mode and let's go up here. And um, he's going to try to make his way up to you. But in some cases, watch out for the mines, buddy. Uh, he's not going to be able to find a path. So there is a shortcut key. It's the backspace key. Oh, buddy, you teleported to me. That's not helpful. <laughs> let's, let's try this again let's go let's go right here on the roof okay so he's trying to make his way up to me he might not find it so uh buddy you're too efficient that's not helping <laughs> let's pick another roof so while he's trying i'll press backspace and backspace essentially is a teleport uh, that you activate on all of your survivors they will essentially go exactly where you're at. So that's one of the commands. Uh, the other command would be the stay function. So you might be used to that. You can say stay where you're standing, which would mean that they just stay in that same position. Or you could do a stay where I'm standing and they will essentially take your position and go in the exact same rotation you were in. Once they are in stay, you have a few more options. So let's first go to follow me, look at the other options. So he's following, uh, you can change his name. Let's say, call him Buddy. So now we're talking to Buddy. Uh, regroup here, if anything happens, is his respawn point. If you do not set his respawn point, then whenever he dies, he will not be able to uh, respawn to that point, he will essentially disappear from the world. You won't be able to find him again. So let's, um, oh, I don't want to kill all these other guys. So let's, well, actually I can show you. If I do kill all, then my expectation is that he's going to respawn at his respawn point. So there he is. He's essentially dead. You can notice by the icon right here. And the only way to reactivate him is to ask him to report for duty. And this will cost you some money. Some people might decide to not pay for them, in which case there was a dismiss option, which is the same as a dismiss option here. And he will essentially disappear. Uh, the reason why you may want to stick with these guys is because when you check their qualifications, these guys can level. So the more kills they have, the more they will level. And it's the same thing with mining. If you do send them to mine, which I'll show you in a few minutes, 
um, these levels will go up. So if they die and you have to hire someone else, then that person you hire will go back to level one. So you won't get the benefits of them leveling, which in terms of uh, them killing means that they will increase in armor class, in damage, etc., etc. And for mining, they will be able to gather more resources. Now, we um, we did a, a kill all all, which means that it actually killed off all of our traders as well. The traders will all have this this icon, so they are all inactive. The only thing you can do is ask him to report for duty. So we'll do it for Billy Bob. So he's coming back and you can now access his normal dialogue. Uh, it's automatic for the traders as soon as you place them down. You do not have to set a respawn point. It's automatically done for you. But all these other ones are dead. So I would make sure that they're kept safe because it can become expensive if you don't know what you're doing. Now, let's um, actually, I want to show you some of these other functions for the survivor. So the survivor buddy here, I talked about mining. If you want him to access the mining functions, you have to ask him to stay. I think we've done everything here. Oh yeah, actually go to your respawn point. We'll send him to the respawn points, which should be where we left him. There we go. So he's gonna chill there. So let's get him back. We'll go back up to the second level. And it doesn't really have to happen at the second level, but if you do want them to mine, so let's make him stay where he is to access the other dialogue options. So now you have this option. Would you please help me gather resources? Reason why you would want him to be in this area is because whenever you ask him to go and mine or gather resources, he will disappear for a while. And whenever he reappears, he's going to reappear in the same spot. And you may be somewhere else doing some questing, but you want him to be safe. Once you've accessed that, you have a few options. Either resources you would get through mining normally, the wood logs or nails and screws. And if you went to these, you have pretty much the option of mining any type of resource. If you were to ask for shale or some crushed sand, they're going to have to go into the desert biome. So they're going to check if you are uh, close. And so it has to go to the desert biome. It says that it's going to take you a certain amount of time. I think I'm actually going to reduce this time, but it will cost you some money. This amount will go down if you have better barter, so you'll be able to spend less money. And as they do more mining missions and they come back, you will be able to... Oh my god, there's always a seeker. Of course a seeker. And now I have no help. Let's do this again. All right. Buddy, this time you're going to help. And you're going to help as well. Never ends with these guys. Oh, and I asked my survivor to stay. Great. I mean, I kind of asked for it. Come on, die, buddy. Oh, he lost an arm. I think that's the first time I've seen a seeker lose an arm. There. Please leave me in peace. So, as I was saying, you can send him to gather these resources and it will cost you some money. And as they level, it will still cost you the same amount of money, but they will mine more resources. And the way you would find the amount of resources mined is after they come back, then you would check their inventory. Right now, he doesn't have anything, but the mining resources would be found here. Now, the other option is to have them repair your base. So let's assume we uh, looked at the, the base. Various areas are um, need some repairs. So you would ask him to uh, please repair the blocks in the area and start repairing. 
And what that does is you have to set your, your boxes on broadcast. So by, by default, they are not set to broadcast. So make sure that they are. And I left them off on purpose because I sent him to repair some blocks and I didn't give him access to these two boxes. And so when he comes back, he will actually give you a report here, report on uh, missing resources so that he could repair all the blocks in the area. So he will tell you that he tried to access whatever was available through the broadcast containers. And these are all the resources that he missed if he was to repair all the blocks. Are you kidding me? Come on. <laughs> There's always something. Where are you, lady? You know what? I'll let you come. Um, so we've done these. We've looked at the inventory. Unfortunately, if you want to move stuff to the inventory today, you have to move them one at a time. There is no... I mean, if you want to take them, you can press the R key and take them. But from your inventory to his, that's not possible. If he had stuff in his inventory, uh, we'll, we'll actually show that. <laughs> it sounds like my Rage Panther, Panther turned the... Uh, Turn the screamer. Did you do your job? Alright, well, we won't worry about that right now. So, he's got some stuff in his inventory. Same thing, he can pause the attacks. Um, okay, so let's kill him again. Well, I'm going to pick you up first. Come with me. So, let's kill them all. Uh, because he has a respawn point, which was way over there, whatever he has on him is in the inventory. So I can't, I can't access that until I ask him to um, report for duty. So if you look at the inventory, it's still there. Now, if I was to, I'm going to um, give myself another level in charismatic nature uh wait do i have i need some more there we go and i'm going to hire another survivor let's go with uh desert vulture so let's hire nicholas and let's give nicholas something in his inventory let's give him the nails uh, let's give him all these resources. Now I'm going to kill everyone again. So we didn't set a respawn point. He died. He will drop his backpack. So at least whatever resources he was carrying, you still have access to and you can grab them. But because he had no respawn points, he's gone. There's nothing you can do about that. Now we, I don't know how much money we have, so let's grab some more money because this is costing me a fortune to revive this guy every time. Okay, I'm sorry for the weather. It's it's really terrible. Now, if we were to want to heal him, let's uh, let's just give him some healing. Okay, so while he's healing, we can talk about let's say gather up some bikers. So he'll attack because right now he's in full control, but he's close enough to me to want to target anything that is in the area that could be problematic. Now, what I could do is I could change it to uh, hunting modes, which would be shift and comma. Halt. No, sorry, wrong Resume. one. It's uh, shift and period. Hunting. There we go. So now he's in hunting mode, and it doesn't matter who's around. I cannot bring him back. So let's say I've got some bikers over there. He He's just going to go buck wild on them. It doesn't matter. If I put him in full control, full control, and I move away a little bit, he's going to disengage and start uh, following me. So hunting is if you just want your survivors to attack anything in the area. Now, 
I talked about shift comma. Halt. Shift comma is halting. So he won't attack now. He's essentially been told, don't attack. Just uh, follow me. Even if I shoot, doesn't matter. This is a good way to have him stay with you. But if you want to get all the XP from the kills, so just ask him to halt. Resume. Now we're resuming. So you would expect because he's now in resume, you're in full control that he will shoot anything. But if you crouch, you're kind of in sneak mode. See, he's not attacking anyone. But as soon as you get up, he will start attacking. So this is a good way. Hey, buddy. I forgot. If you've got some boiled water in your inventory and you press backspace for the teleport, you will put his fire out. So it's a good way to sneak through POIs. Just make sure you're crouching and um, he won't attack. So in terms of commands, I think that kind of covers it. Um, I know it's a lot, but you can go through the video again and make sure that you've captured it all.